Good day, this is our short uh, course on how to enable Intel Smart Response caching disks. Basically what that means is adding a uh, solid state disk, as an SSD, to a spinning disk. So this is a Dell Latitude 5480 and uh, I've already taken the screws out and popped the back off. Nothing too rocket sciencey there. And uh, this is the uh, spinning disk and uh, for the sake of display here I've taken this out and uh, I've taken the four screws out, one, two, three, four. And I'll show you the three different types of disks that are available here. One is the spinning disk we have in here currently, the typical SATA connection. The other are M2 connections. There's an M2 connector here, which goes to a uh, bracket here. No, the bracket the, it actually isn't here, but the, you can get a bracket. That's the back for a uh, what's called a 2280, which is 22 millimeters by 80 millimeter uh, memory chip. And that will act as an SSD. And that's really fast because that runs on PCI, uh, PCI Express. So crazy fast. I think it's 24 gig a second, something like that. Uh, and then this particular connector is um, back here is uh, a SATA connector. And on that SATA connector, uh, th these are both called M2 connectors, um, but it's uh, it's running on the SATA bus. So it's the same same bus as this uh, drive here. Now, the uh, this is a 64 gig stick. I can put a 64 or 128 in according to Dell. And that's what I've done is, again, to save time, I've taken the uh, one terabyte Toshiba out and I've put a uh, two terabyte uh, Seagate Barracuda in. So let's just pop that over. Now the entire point of this is to get this spinning, uh, this uh, solid state disk, this chunk of memory, to uh, house all of the common files uh, that are on the spinning disk. So things like your key windows operating system files, any program files you use a lot, you know, things like that. And uh, they will get moved transparently and without your control at all from the spinning disk onto the solid state disk. And the operating system will see this as one disk. It will not see it as two. And uh, But it is a little tricky to set up. Um, it's actually pretty easy, but it's not completely obvious. So let's go with that. So uh, you can see I've got these two things in. This is a brand new disk with nothing on it. So I'm going to, um, I could take these screws and screw this drive back in. One, two, three, four, but I'm not going to do that for the sake of time. I'm simply going to pop this back on loose. I'm going to flip it over. Okay, so I've got my uh, Windows 10 USB stick here, and uh, I'm ready to go with that. But because this machine already was configured with this Toshiba drive, I need to wipe out the array that's already on there. So um, if you have a new machine that did not have a uh, solid state disk and a spinning disk with it, you can skip this step. But let's uh, just go ahead and show you. So you power the machine up, press F12 until your fingers bleed. Exciting. There it is, one time boot. You go down to device configuration, and then here is where you're going to need to wipe the array out. So you go into your. And you, I've already done this on this particular disk, so in your case, you'll just see delete. In my case, I see remove acceleration, so I'm going to do that. But basically, the idea here is that you wipe this out. Both of these disks should be not rated. So let's go through and do that. Let's go into here and go into reset to non-rate. That's what you want. You want to wipe this thing out. There it is. Now it's got two disks that are not rated and simple stuff. Um, let's uh, proceed. So now I'm going to plug my USB stick in. I'm going to power this down. I'm going to power it back up. Now at this point I'm going to install Windows 10. Typical standard installation. Nothing too exciting here. So again I'm just going to press F12 until my fingers bleed. And I'm going to go down to boot off of this stick, so let's do that. There it is. General USB flash, blah, 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 whatever. Okay, so this is going to bring up Windows 10. Well, it's going to bring up the Windows 10 installation. I'm going to run through that. Just before we finish off, um, leaving you for a minute and finishing the Windows 10 installation. If you get to the um, partition window, you want to make sure that all your partitions are right. So make sure that you've cleared anything that's there. Now these both say unallocated space, so that's great. Life is happy. Uh, but if you see other things here, you really want to wipe them up. Pop that in. Okay, of course I carefully read the end user agreement and I've downloaded the RST. I'm going to close that now. And let's extract the files. Pretty exciting stuff. 
And all we want to do is run it. Oops, wrong one. Next, next. Oh, I agree. Carefully read again. Next. Wherever you want to put it. Put a shortcut on the desktop for this, sure. Normally I would say no to that because I don't like shortcuts on the desktop, but for a demo, it's handy. Sure, we'll restart the PC now. Okay, you will notice that I have sped that uh, reboot up because uh, trying to boot off of a 5400 spin physical disk is just a punishment that nobody should have to tolerate. Okay, we can fix that god-awful performance on, of rebooting off of the spinning disk by simply going to the Intel remote or uh, rapid storage software. and setting it up to use the solid state disk as part of the spinning disk to merge them into a single array and that will move you can see here it shows both disks and you can also see here in the device manager that it shows two disks as well now what we want to do is click on performance and click enable acceleration so let's do that saying well what do you want to use of that 64 gig well I would like to use all of it and I would like it in maximized mode that you can read the warnings for yourself but it boils down to when you're in maximized mode the system performance is really improved but you can get cash problems um, I'm willing to accept that risk so let's go okay and acceleration you can see at the bottom right here the uh, Intel uh, RAID controller just kicked in and you can see now in disk management that or sorry in uh, device manager that there's now only one disk and you can also see that it has now put those two together so we can go in and play with this a bit but what it boils down to is so there really isn't much information in here you can't tell how much of that 64 gig or 128 gig as it might be in your case is used you can't um, yeah, basically, other than turning this on, there's really not much here that's uh, that's so used. So let's just turn that off. Now, right now, the system's going to be a little slow because it's going to be poking. Uh, it's going to be moving all of the files that it thinks are going to be used frequently from the spinning disk onto the solid state disk. Once you've got the software installed and you've uh, selected uh, optimize, you're good to go. The more you use the system, the uh, more it will figure out which files to move to the SSD. In the unlikely event you want to break up this array, you can also um, go to the Intel software. And you can see how much faster it's acting just now. Okay, now I can go into uh, performance and I can see a little bit about it, but I can also disable acceleration right there. So if I did that, it would break it back into two disks and um, life would be okay. Please check our website if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.